All right, man, this is Josh Johnson back with another 180 way video, a banger at that, as y'all could tell by the mic, the voice, and the quality. I'm coming back with a banger, coming back with some heat. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you knew, this may be a little bit new to you. The quality may be a little new. So you know what I'm saying? You may want to hop on the bandwagon and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to have more of these. And I know this is what y'all like in my OGs, y'all. You know, y'all like these. So I'm going to keep producing and giving you more of these. So. You know, definitely want to do that. Add me on Snapchat to my Snapchat is Brutal or Die. It's going to be in the bottom left hand corner. Ask me any questions. I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible. I already know that. So um, let's stay tuned to the video. Watch all the way through. I'm going to show you the different stages of my hair, like different lifts and everything like that. So you don't want to watch all the way through just because I'm going to show you different styles. You can see what I go through and how I do my thing, my routine, and everything like that. So, Let's get right into it. We're gonna use, uh, get into how to use 180 weight products effectively, like how to use them the right way. And this is universal information. So if you're 360, you can watch this. If you're 180, you can watch this. If you're 540, you can watch this. If you're 720, you can watch this. You know what I mean? So just giving you good tips. Make sure you guys are getting it and make sure that I'm giving you the best tips and my up-to-date tips too. So as you can see right now, my hair is looking real silky, real shiny right now. You know why? You wanna know why? Because I use good hair oils, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna break down the hair oils and really which ones are the best and what you should look out for it if you go to the store, you know what I mean? Like, see it, boom, get it. So my two favorites are olive oil and argan oil. Argan oil is a little bit more expensive, I believe, but it lasts longer, it smells really good, and it get your shine together like really really well it's like kind of like a gold uh i say like a gold color but it's really really nice and um olive oil is just like a staple product like olive oil and castor oil you're gonna see that probably a lot but uh definitely do that if you want more of a shine you know what i'm saying you want to shine your waves definitely get into the oil because that's going to help your scalp it's going to help your hair grow and then it's going to help you grow nice hair nice healthy hair you know what i mean nice hair that's gonna pull and it's not gonna fall out as easily you know what i mean and give you that stretch as well so definitely look into that argan oil and then olive oil and then castor oil too is something that's very common and they also have hair growth oil so basically what that is it has vitamins in it so your hair is going to end up growing longer and it's going to get to your scalp it's going to get to ends of your hair Mix that in with a do rag in the other process I'm going to talk about, and you're going to be good. So, those are the oils for that. So, now we're going to get to the nitty gritty. The ones I'm going to focus on a lot too is leave in hair conditioner. So, I get asked a lot for the leave in hair conditioners, which ones you should get, like what does it do, what's the point of it. And basically, leave in the hair conditioner is the most important if you're woofing, you know what I mean? If you're woofing or if you're growing your hair, because the leave-in conditioner is what you're gonna have in your hair from day to day, you know what I mean? From the morning to the night, leave-in conditioner is gonna stay in your hair. And then even too, like depending on your washing, if you don't wash your hair every day, or if you do, it's gonna be sitting in your hair. So you wanna make sure you get a good product. You don't cheap, don't do the cheap stuff. Don't just hurry up and get something because it's cheap. You see it, it says leave-in conditioner. No, man, do your research on it. Like on the back of the uh, bottle or whatever container you get, you wanna look at the ingredients on it. So basically the first uh, word you see on the back of it basically tells you that's what has the most material in it. Like that's the most of the product. So if you see a product and it says like agua or water in front of it, it has a lot of water in that product. If you see something that's like, it says alcohol in it, it's gonna have a lot of alcohol in that product. So just look at that because it may dry your hair out and you really, really wanna try it out. Like see if it works for you personally. So. Leave-in conditioners are definitely important. I would say like for me, Shea Moisture was really good. And I, well, I started from that, I started from Cantu, then I moved to Shea Moisture. And I stopped using Cantu because it had a lot of alcohol in it. So I noticed that it really didn't work out with my hair and it was better products out there. So I just tried the Shea Moisture. It's been history ever since, you know what I mean? It's natural, it's really good. And then it has really, really good, chemi not chemicals, it has really good, uh, ingredients in it so that way my hair is also getting that shine and then it's natural you know what i mean so that's very very important for me and then for you guys as well so make sure you guys are having healthy hair and having products that not only helps your hair but it extends your hair quality you know what i mean so 
definitely look into that don't be cheap on that because this is this is going on your you know your body so just stay aware for that i mean stay um aware of that and make sure you get something that's really really good and not something that's cheap you know what i mean so that's that so next i would say one of the best, um, next things that i look for that's something that for my products to have is the brushes so a lot of times people focus on the brushes first this is what i mentioned before they kind of just jump into the brush and then jump into the waves but really you know what i mean you want to do the oils and you know have your process and have your hair quality a lot higher before you jump into the waves but for the brushes you want to get something that's really on amazon i would say amazon and then for me personally i use torino pro just because the quality is there until I make my own brush, you know what I mean? Like, until I get my own products out there, you know what I mean? Torino Pro is just where it's at. And I'm not going, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to cap. I'm going to tell you something I'm using. I ain't going to hide it from you. I'm going to be transparent with it. That's just what I've been using as it was fire. So I use Torino Pro. And uh, I should link it down in the, bo in the bottom so you can check those out. But yeah, get a Torino Pro because the Torino Pro is going to have the curved brush so you can get your angles right. Uh, you can get all... Uh, um, your angles, the brushing pattern, you get your hair pattern, your wave pattern that you want. You can get out all that you need. You can get all that. So that's something that's very important to me. Torino Pro, go crazy. Simple. So also too, on Amazon, I know it's a lot of other brushes that you can get. Just make sure the reviews are really good and then that the brush is what you need for your hair quality. You know what I mean? You can get a palm brush, you can get a straight brush, you can get a curved brush, but you know, the curve for me is better because if I wanna go from 180 to 360, I had that option. So you wanna, you wanna do your research on that and figure out how you want your pattern to look because that's really gonna be based off of what your brush is. So that's something to think about. You know what I mean? If you wanna switch from 180 to 360, definitely go with a curved brush you know if you are cool with the 180s you can stay with a, a straight brush or a palm brush it's really up all to you so you know don't be too um you know analytical about it just get something that works get something that you like and get a style that you like you know what i mean because it's still your creative process like what you want to do and everything like that so next I really want to get into the do-rags um so i ain't gonna be i ain't gonna capture you i'm gonna tell you like a hundred like don't spend too much on the do-rag man like really that's really what i really want to talk to y'all about because a lot of times the do-rags are just too much money man like i've seen things go up for like 30 dollars for a do-rag you know what i mean i'm like it's really like a piece of cloth so it shouldn't cost as much as a t-shirt in my opinion so i don't want to rip y'all off like i don't want y'all to get something that's gonna be too much money just get something simple, man. Get a silky. If you want to try a velvet, try that. You know, have a collection just in case, like, you know, you go somewhere, you play sports, you want to have a different a variety. That's cool. But just keep up. You know what I'm saying? Don't get finessed out here. Like, don't get something that's, like, $100. Now, don't get something that's, like, too outrageous. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes I just see prices and I'm just like, it, that just doesn't make sense to me. So definitely get something that's, like, quality, high quality silky keep it simple that's what i do um and then you know go from there like have your go-to's your main ones and then you know get the brands and the different logos and stuff and um things like that and you'll be good man like just try that like definitely don't go too crazy with it don't go too especially if you're beginning like don't go too crazy with it just get something that is gonna work for you personally you know what i mean so that's what i recommend for you on the do rags and then basically after that you just put everything together you know what i mean you put all those good products in uh after your brush session or before your brush session depending on you know what stage you're in and then just grow your hair man that's another important thing too and the process is just growing your hair like learning your hair growing your hair being more comfortable with it getting different cuts trying different uh fades and everything drop fades you know shadow fades and everything like that just get your research done because it's really going to show in your progress it's really going to show in your uh, wave pattern too how much you know so if that's something that you want you know what i'm saying if you want you got the brush and everything together it really shows like people can see like hey man he either doesn't have forks or he does have forks this is something he can work on this is something that he should look forward to you know what i mean so that's just his basically what the wave community is that like we're all learning we're all learning different things and we're all learning how to you know get the best pattern pattern out possible so 
you just gotta mix everything you know together and then boom just go from there but yeah i think that's pretty much it i think that's all like the products that i personally use and that's the products that you should really be looking out for and then you really have to just try it too you have to see what works best for you and your type hair and um go from there but yeah this information was pretty much for all waivers so you don't have to have this 180s that's just my style but you know there's different products out there they get you to this place you need to be at and yeah that's pretty much it so if you like the video make sure you like the video subscribe to my channel for more content add me on snapchat ask me any questions and i'll see you in my next video i appreciate it i'm out